Is government better at setting prices and people's salaries? No. If, if you believe that no one is too big to fail, well, let me show you what company you're in with. FCC Chairman Julius Janikowski is announcing a set of principles to preserve an open internet in which all Americans can participate and benefit. Now, that's the role of government to provide investment that spurs innovation and also to set up common sense ground rules to ensure that there's a level playing field for all comers who seek to contribute their innovations. We know that the free market is nonsense. We kind of agree with Mao that political power comes largely from the barrel of a gun. What we're really saying is that the fair industry doctrine is not enough. Very rarely did we communicate through the press anything that we didn't absolutely control. Mao Zedong and Mother Teresa not often coupled with each other, but, but the two people that I turn to most. The rate of growth of material consumption is going to have to come down, and there's going to have to be a degree of redistribution. In this way, Chavez, we really have a revolution, a revolution. Unless we are conscious of the need to have more people of color, gays, other people in those positions, we will not change the problem. Right now we're saying we want uh, to move from suicidal gray capitalism to some kind of uh, eco-capitalism. Give them the wealth! Give them the wealth! Some of us who are not Barack Hussein Obama are going to have to start getting a little bit up. How's that capitalism working for you? How's that, how's that capitalism working for you? I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. We need to level the playing field. America, the free market is in more peril than perhaps it's ever been under. It is under siege by those who I believe are revolutionaries. I don't know why anyone would side with those who love Mao, who love Che, don't know or don't want to even look that he was a killer. I don't know why they, why anyone would side with socialist Marxist radicals considering that socialism and communism has never, ever, ever, ever worked. Oh, but it has a lot of supporters. And unfortunately, many of them are in or near the White House right now. The real revolution that is going on right now is this. This is your choice. Limited government versus total government. Our founding fathers believed in limited government. The radicals, the new revolutionaries in the Obama administration, believe in total government. The first one here is a right to property. That's versus social justice. See, it, it's just a word game, really. It's right to property. Our founders believed in the right to property. Y you work hard for your money. Who are they to take it away? James Madison said it is not, uh, it, uh, that it is not just government, nor is property secure under it, where the property which has man in, uh, has in his personal liberty is violated by arbitrary series, uh, seizures of one class of citizen for the service of the left. Can somebody get my glasses, please? <laughs> the Obama administration believes in social justice. That is the difference. James Madison or Van Jones? Which one, America? Here's former White House Green Job Czar Van Jones. No more broken treaties. Give them the wealth. Give them the wealth. Give them the dignity. Give them the respect that they deserve. No justice on stolen land. We owe them a debt. We owe the, this is the Native Americans. We owe them a debt. This is stolen land. That's revolutionary thought. Next, gun rights versus gun control. Thomas Jefferson on gun rights. No free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms. The strongest reason for the people to retain their right to keep and bear arms is as a last resort to protect themselves against tyranny in government. Gee, I thought it was all about the hunters. Compare that to what White House regulatory czar Cass Sunstein said about guns. Almost all gun control legislation is constitutionally fine. And if the court is right, then fundamentalism does not justify the view that the Second Amendment protects an individual right to bear arms. America, that's pretty clear. You're going to go with Thomas Jefferson or Cass Sunstein? 
the Senate went for Cass Sunstein. How about you? Next, we have free press. Free press. Responsible journalism is the flip side of that. Thomas Jefferson, let's start with him. He said, the only security of all is in a free press. The force of public opinion cannot be resisted when permitted freely to be expressed. The agitation it produces must be submitted to. It is necessary to keep the waters pure. Well, no, because that's, well, that's just not responsible enough. Government's got to be involved. So now we have new communication policies. Here's Robert McChesney. He is the co-founder of Free Press. Quote, any serious effort to reform the media system would have to necessarily be part of a revolutionary program to overthrow the capitalist system itself. We have next us uh, freedom of speech. We have freedom of the press, but now freedom of speech, that's different. That's versus um, uh, communication policy. Let's start with George Washington. George Washington said, the freedom of speech may be taken away and dumb and silent, we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. Oppose that to the new revolutionary FCC diversity czar, Mark Lloyd. He said, it should be clear now that my focus here is not freedom of speech or the press. This freedom is all too often an exaggeration. At the very least, blind references to freedom of speech or the press serve as a distraction from the critical examination of other communication policies. Really, I think I'm going to go with that guy instead. Finally, there is debt versus investment and, and stimulus. We've got to invest in our country. We've got to invest, invest. George Washington said, there is no practice more dangerous than that of borrowing money. For when money can be had in this way, repayment is seldom thought of in time. The interest becomes a loss, exhortations to raise it by dent of industry cease and it comes easy and it is spent freely and many things are indulged in that would have never been thought of if they were to be purchased by the sweat of the brow. Imagine America, would we even be talking about health care if we actually had to pay for it right now as opposed to our children or borrowing it from China or just printing the money? I think you know the answer. You compare that to the words of Joe Biden. Now, people, so when I say that, people look at me and say, what are you talking about, Joe? You're telling me we got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? The answer is yes, I'm telling you. Are you going to go? Are you going to this? Because this is your choice. This or James Madison and Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and Samuel Adams and John Adams. Which one? Which words make more sense? All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent.